What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Today I have got pie, mash, mushy peas and g -g -g gravy. So we'll get this lovely gravy all over guys. Oh yes, look at that. Classic British meal, pie and mash. I love mushy peas so I chose to do mushy peas. I seen English Eats has done a couple of videos lately with some nice pies and I thought, ooh, I just fancy a nice pie. So shout out to Dean. <laughs> Me drink, I've just got some nice ice water, guys. Mm. So refreshing. I feel like I'm sweating. Um, if you can hear a motorbike, so some kids have decided to go on the backfield on the motorbike, so sorry if you can hear that i'm upstairs in my bedroom again guys kenny's literally plumbing the sink in that's the last thing he needed to do plumb the sink in he fitted it and all that yesterday my god what a day we had yesterday so it's monday today he won't get this until tomorrow tuesday but sunday guys what a stressful day but bless him he got there in the end perfect like he had a right bother with the joints and that of the benches i'll let you know in a minute but i'm, I'm going to get into this so nice mash some mushies nice and steamy hot guys there you go have a bite oh, hope I saved that mmm haven't had a pie for ages and his look lovely so I thought oh I'm gonna get them these are just the pack of four in Aldi but I like them because they're nice deep ones mmm So yeah, like I say, it's when he joined the two benches together. Sorry if this is wobbling. It's not very sturdy when I'm up here, like. Um, so he had a right nightmare, but like I said, he eventually got them done. He fitted all the benches on uh, yesterday, Sunday. And then, um, oh, delish. Mmm. They're like obviously frozen so they basically rise like they're freshly made in the oven. I love my new oven guys, it cooks everything so evenly because it's obviously fan assisted. Much better than the gas. I prefer gas hob like but I'm getting used to me hob. Oh god this is lovely. Mm. It's like a mini dinner. The mash is gorgeous. Plenty of butter and salt. Oh, so creamy. Mm. So he was literally working. I think it was till about half past nine at night. He had a right nightmare doing it, but like I say, again, he completed it, done the joints perfectly eventually after being stressed. And then he come to put the sink in, <clears throat> cut the sink um, part out perfectly. He's done a really good job. Um, but underneath, comes with like a um, flexi pipe for the hot and cold water where they weren't long enough they, they came with the um I don't know if they came with the sink or came with the tap well we had it like this little package what went with the sink like all the pipes and stuff it was literally a foot long and we needed about another five inches so he was stuck but yesterday Sunday being queue was closed by four o'clock and um, by the time you come to do the sink it was well well after eight and I went all the shuts anyway at four on a Sunday um, so he's grey so he had to he worked out he could turn just those taps off 
because I was thinking I'm going to have to take the kids to me mum's for a um, bath. The kids were up like quite late, you know, first day back, yeah, like today, and they were up late on Sunday night, but they woke up fine, no bother this morning. Until he realised he could turn the um, individual taps off downstairs and then put the main water back on so we could have showers and stuff. So I says, um, we'll just wait for tomorrow then. Go to BenQ straight away after work. Get the extra, like the um, add-on cable for the flexi hose. And, uh, and I says, write down everything else you need. Get everything else you need so you can actually complete it. Because we still need the black silicon what goes around the, the seal the benches in. Oh. <laughs> So he wrote a list as soon as he come in there. Um he quickly had a look underneath, quickly fitted the um like the waste pipe roughly to just to see if he needed any extra things while he was up there being cute. And he did, he just needed a little bit extra piping. So just as well he done that, less it would have been another trail up. Um he got I needed two like black sockets for my kettle. Just because they're right in the uh, middle of the black tiles and I didn't want them like like um, standing out load so we've got black sockets for there and like I said the black silicon and some sealant and stuff for when you just connect all the pipes properly he's got the proper sealant for just for an extra precaution mm. Got that motorbike. Told you they're going to hear. Mm. These pies are really nice. So yeah, he got all the stuff in. I was also obviously making this for tea. So he's having his tea downstairs before he cracks on. I said, you reckon you'll be totally complete tonight? Because if he was, I was going to add the kitchen video on the end of this. But he still needs to put the kickboards on underneath the cupboards. And I can't imagine him doing that tonight. So it should definitely be my next video, guys. I'll have the kitchen revamp on it. It looks absolutely amazing, guys. I love it. Mm. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> Just can hardly see it's eating the uh, pie behind here. The so like, oh. the puff up, it's lovely puff pastry on the top. I'm trying not to wobble this, sorry if it's wobbling. <laughs> Watch it fall, collapse. Bring some over here. Like the top of them just puff up like a souffle, the lush. Hey, I wish I had a bloody waited till that motorbike had gone. Hopefully he'll run out of petrol soon. Wow. So yes, should be my next video. I'll upload the start to finish video. And a lot of years have wanted a, a full house tour. I've said for ages that I'll do one. So once we get all sorted and cleaned up, because obviously the, the amount, when he was doing the benches yesterday, the amount of dust, because he was like doing it in the dining room and he had to um, sort of drill some holes to clamp the benches together. We got the thick of it, thick of it up last night, but I need to like, no need to pull your sofas out and really give it a deep, like deep clean. So once I get all sorted, um, probably in the next few weeks I'll do a um, house tour. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm the same. Like I would like to see other people's houses. So I was just going to say I don't know why I want to say, but I also um like that. I want to see people's houses. <laughs> It's nothing special. It's just a council house. We don't own it. 
but we treat it like what like as if it's ours because I think you're set for life when you get a council house. You can pretty much do what you want to do to it, as if it's yours. And you've got the option to buy eventually anyway, so I love my street. That field on the back there is ideal, it's like a humongous back garden. They're quiet. So I can't see it's moving from here. Mm. Amazing this like. The pastry on these pies. Well, more or less going to mush like everything's mixing in together. <laughs> mm. So when I picked the boys up this morning, like I said, they had a um, late night last night. Um, but when I went in the room this morning, I was like, wake up, wake up, it's school time. <laughs> Oscar just like dived out of bed. What you think was Christmas? Even last night when I finally did put them to bed. Uh, Spencer was like all excited, like as if it was Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh my God, he's finally excited for school. And then, um, so obviously we went to school. The out the um bubbles at school now, so they're allowed to play with. As long as it's, I think the, there's two year groups are allowed to mix. Um, so they're allowed to like just go and play wherever they want to play. Um, and the parents don't need to wear masks now when you go and collect them. Pardon me. So in case when I did collect them, Oscar's teacher looked really nice. She was dead happy when she opened the door to them. So Oscar came out, super excited. He's like, Mom, Mom, I've had a brilliant day. He went, year two is much better than year one. I went, E is it? He went, heck yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I went, I'm so glad you've enjoyed yourself. He come out, he's jumped, I was off because it's been so humid today, guys. It's like been drizzling rain, but really humid. Um, so he come up with his jumper off, but he had a, like a sticker, and I read it, and it was head teacher award. Where you should to get one of them every Friday. They have to stand up and go and collect a big certificate, like an assembly with like everyone in the hall. So I think that'll happen on Friday. But he's got his head teacher award. I went, you've got a head teacher award on your first day of your new class. I went, that is absolutely amazing. I went, I'm so proud of you. I went, what's it for? Is he, because I've been doing so much work, good work. And the teacher was happy. I went, oh, bless you. <laughs> so then we went round to collect Spencer. And he come out, he's like, that was hard. <laughs> I went, oh, what's the matter? He says, it's much harder. I went, yeah, well, it's going to get much harder now every year, darling, because it's like knuckle, knuckle and down time. Like, you know, it's going into high school next year. It's going to get harder and harder. I went, but as long as you concentrate and try your best, and if you're ever stuck on anything, make sure you raise your hand and ask your teacher and tell her you're stuck. Don't just pretend like you know what's going on. Don't be embarrassed to ask for help because that's how you learn. But I mean, I was like that at school if I didn't understand anything. And the rest of the class was like just getting on with it. Like it is embarrassing saying you don't get it because, you know, school, some kids can be cruel. And they'll like just laugh at you. So, but I say, don't be scared to put your hand up even though I was. <laughs> So then from there, I went to my mum's, back to the Monday mornings. I said I didn't want a bacon sandwich because I wasn't sure if I was going to come home and do the ASMR video, but I'm just going to wait till next Sunday. Obviously, I'll do a video this week for Sunday. 
Um, so I said I don't want my baking sandwich just in case I went home and wanted to do a video. <clears throat> so I sat there, we were just chattering all morning and then it got to like, I think it was nigh on two o'clock. Well, it was probably about half one, one, half one. And she says, are you sure you don't want a baking sandwich? I've got some mushrooms, your favourite. And I went, oh, go on then, because I thought it's pointless going all the way home now to then come all the way back over to get the kids from school and plus I wanted to get another box of them pies because I only bought one box and they come in a pack of four so she ended up making us a bacon and mushroom sandwich it was flipping lovely I love mushrooms as you know this is so lush So at least you should get the um, all the plumbing of the sink done. It should be working by tonight. I'd imagine he'll um, do the silicon, seal it all around the benches. Um, and then maybe tomorrow he'll do the kickboards. And then that's it, it's done. It's all that needs done. I just love it. The bit where he's done the extra bench, because it was literally like a, probably about that much bench what I had my microwave on, so you could only have that bit bench what's in front of your microwave. So it was basically no room on this side of my cooker. And then it just ended, and then the, um, the, um, we had where the dry out is, that door would open there, which is no, Kenny blocked in now and made the cupboard door in the passage so we can still use the cupboard but you now have to enter it in the passage. So now what he's done is took that, that little tiny bench would have me microwave on, he's took it round and wrapped it round where that door was so it goes right to me fridge so it's like an L shape. So I've got much more bench room. With sink, um, it used to be like the sink and then the, um, what they're called, the drainer going that way but it was like sort of it was like um just see me kitchen windows here my sink was like here so I've told me to turn the new sink around so the sink's there but the drain has that side so it's more like online with the window and then it means this side of the bench is super long well not super long but much longer than what I was used to so I feel like I've got loads more bench room guys and when I was cooking this, I was like in the new corner with a new L shape. I was like, yeah, I love this bit. I says, I think I prefer this bit rather than the sink bit. Like it was a nice little cubby hole, like to dish everything out. I just love it. I would like to get some new like pots and pans. I'm due some anyway, like, but um, on some nice fresh new pans and new um, like bacon trays and pizza sheets and stuff. Just with it being a brand new cooker. And I've had mine for years, guys. They're really good set, but they're looking a bit worse for wear. But I mean, they're, they're still really good pans. So I keep them for spares. I'll not get rid of them. But I want like, nice new ones. I'll get them eventually. There's no major rush for them. Sometimes I really enjoy water. I definitely should be drinking more. <clears throat> but it's really nice and refreshing when it's got loads of ice in. Oh, I'm getting full in now, yeah. Big plate. All them carbs or pastry in there. <laughs> Load of mash. Sounds like the bike's gone fine. Ooh. Runny nose again. Lovely this for a change, like like I said, I um, haven't had a pie for a while. Try 
trying to get the pastry bits delicious one more big bite guys and that's it ready <laughs> there's a big bite and all mmm I know I said I was going to do my lamb dinner, but the um, water downstairs, obviously the sinks are plumbed in, so I thought I don't fancy bringing all the pans upstairs to fill them up to dig downstairs to put on the cooker. I just wanted something quite quick. I, won I only used one pan for the mash. Mushy peas when the microwave and the pies when the oven, so that was much easier for us to make tonight. But don't worry, um, <clears throat> look at this going back in for more, I always do. The um, lamb shank semi freezer, so I can make that anytime. And Kenny, I forgot to tell you. I don't know if I told you. When he went to the, um, popped up the little on Saturday, and he came back and he says, I've just bought some stuff. I'm not going to tell you. Like, I can't say what's in the fridge. <laughs> and he says, I'm going to cook you a nice meal and we'll do a video together. I went, All right. So, I mean, I've seen like little bits and bobs, but I don't actually know what meal he's doing. So that'll be exciting. I don't know if it'll be that or me lamb dinner next. Depending on how far he's got in the kitchen, if he's got, if he can be bothered to make what he's making. Oh God, that was delicious. I'm going to go and have a nice soak in the bath now, guys. I need to put my face mask on because you know when you can feel your skin. I need to cleanse my skin all nice. I think I might have a bit of a pamper. Well, he's cracking on with a sink. Oh, oh no, it's fine. He can plumb it. So I was going to say, can I use the water? But it's fine. He can turn the sink one off. But the rest of the stuff's on. Right, I'm going to go. If you like that video, guys, please hit the thumbs up. Give it a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. As always, check out my ASMR channel, Coral Blush ASMR. The link to that is in the description box below. And also go and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.